welcome to my allotment. I'm Nick and I've had a few comments on my previous posts about the soil pH. It's something I never thought to check. So I bought this soil pH tester. It's actually called a meter. Um, I'll show you that. And on the back, it gives you a list of vegetables and flowers and their ideal pH. Now, I'm using um, raised beds for most of my growing, which um, means I can't really change it from plant to plant. So some of them will just have to get on with what I've got. Uh, but when I tested my soil, I was really, really shocked at what pH I am working with here. Now, I do have um, quite a clay-based soil. Um, so in the winter, it's really, really squidgy and sticks to everything. And in the summer, it's like solid. So the raised beds I've put... Um, leaves and um, bark chippings and all sorts of thing on the bottom followed by a whole layer of horse manure some of it is well rotted some of it is really fresh um, I've mixed all that up and then a good couple of bags or so of compost just a multi-purpose compost on the top so let's go out and test some of these and see what what's going on now actually as well um excuse my hair it's like so windy out there um also with this uh meter i paid 8.99 and i thought that was really really good because i watched a few videos on um different techniques and some people have to wait 24 hours to let the soil settle mix it up in a bowl and take a sample and this just seemed really quick and really easy so for 8.99 i got it from my local um garden center okay so let's just test here let's see what that's doing it says wait a minute okay so here we go it's around the six seems to have settled there so i'll try a different spot i'm also going to test the water butt we have like a standard water butt like this on the allotment And my water butt is around basically it's it's on the seven really I mean it, it's slightly underneath the seven so that is the water butt water on the allotment and then a testing over here oh it's actually a lot more acidic over here and the needles jumping a little bit I just got to clean that off try another spot and again, we're just, actually just before the six. I've just tested another spot right by it. And I, I'm getting sort of like quite really, really acidy spots around the place. Um, if anyone knows why that would be so acidic, um, maybe someone else has done something on this plot before I got it that would, would do that. I don't know, but if anyone can help me out on that put it in the comments below and once again we're on the six so i'm thinking six should be okay for all the little orchard down here with the fruit trees blueberries and everything else so i'll go home do a bit of studying up here on it and see if six is okay for everything else that i'm growing okay i'm going to go up and um test the raised beds now i've got my other raised bed ready to go i filled all that up this morning so let's do a little uh test in here this probably isn't wet enough i'm gonna have to get some water for this one so i'm just going to put a bit of water on here and then um just wet the area down And that is actually out the water, but I have tested that and it came up very neutral, that water. Okay, so here it's saying five for my raised bed. I'm going to just try that there. Obviously, I have got that manure underneath. Six and a half. Seven. 
six and a half for this raised bed here. Now I have a raised bed I watered half an hour ago. So let's try this herb bed. Uh, that's saying six. I know I haven't left it the whole minute, but I've noticed it just seems to sort of go to it quite quickly. So that's my herb bed coming in at six. Let me pop that. Uh, yep, that one's jumping a bit. It's more like five and a half there. I don't know if it's hitting the manure underneath, maybe. I think so, because when I put it really shallow, we get six and a half, which is what more I'd expect, seven, really. So anyway, it seems like I have quite an acidic plot. So that was a surprise. It wasn't what I thought at all. Now also, here's my bulbs. They've all been doing really, really well. And I have my first flowers on the allotment. Aren't they amazing? They are so cute. Let's see what we're looking at here. I don't want to stab a bulb. Right, so this I, I put basically with compost. That obviously is some of the original soil that you can see here underneath and that's coming in at six and a half so my bulbs seem to be happy at that there they are how gorgeous are they the rest of the bulbs are all going along there and you can see how well they're coming up a few I think have been eaten can you see there something's been a nibbling and um, this one here has been eaten uh, and I'm thinking that happened when it was very very small so hopefully no more will be eaten so what are we looking at now okay it's still six just well, six and a quarter six and a half so there you go quite different results from around the plot no alkaline anywhere it's all very acid the whole plot and with the site being quite acidic, um, sort of makes me realise why the rhododendrons at home are doing so well. I've never seen such massive bushes of rhododendrons and um, I did take this home and test my soil at home. And yes, it was acidic and um, that's probably why they do so well in this area. Thanks for watching today. I hope you've enjoyed seeing the different soils and how that's made such a difference to the um, pH. I just didn't know I was working with that at all when I started. So um, if you'd like to follow my journey, please subscribe and I'll see you next time on the allotment.